It's time for another epic episode of Mac Music Review. In this episode, we are looking at the Show Baraka album with Vanessa Hill titled So Many Feelings. Guys, So Many Feelings? It's a sexy album. You best believe that this album is about marriage. And that show and Vanessa Hill, and I think this is a concept album. I don't know if they're actually married in real life, but they play these characters called Cliff and Claire. And the album is an extremely in-depth, and I mean it, exploration of uh, marriage and the ups and downs of it, of the going on dates and the uh, the steamier parts and the hard parts, the, the silent treatment, the babies crying, like they're having these really specific nitpicky arguments and things about each other that are just getting on their nerves and grinding their gears and then eventually they make up and can celebrate a, an anniversary of we made it a year we made it another year we made it another year and i just summed up the entire flow of the album the entire thing it's not i'm not going to say it's a spoiler because it's you know marriage i'm not, it's a, i'm not spoiling marriage that is how marriage goes generally speaking they're trying to capture it and they're trying to be authentic and i think they do a good job of that musically and sonically i think this is the best album that show has done like i'm just going to be completely honest i think and vocally vanessa hill brings so much to this album she has such a beautiful voice she is fantastic she gives this much needed kind of diversity to shows very very flat delivery i'll be honest it's a very like flat like kind of spoken word-esque performance which i think is very good but he is an artist that i think benefits the most when having someone to bounce off of and that is what's going on in every single track on this album he has someone to bounce off of and i think just musically this thing is just so tight and clean and polished and precise musically like it just the whole thing just sounds so lush and whatever vibe they're going for i think musically the vibe is definitely there because of the music thanks to the music does the album have flaws absolutely yes and the biggest flaw with this album in my opinion is the song head wraps and sweats which is one of the sexy songs on the album one of the songs about the more intimate parts of marriage and this is all this is this album and this is a very interesting album because you know this is from a christian perspective it's an album that that pushes some boundaries in that way in terms of how explicit it wants to be and i don't think it this album ever gets too explicit but head wraps and sweats there's two like sexy songs on the album and it's head wraps and sweats and nasty and i think nasty is just a better song like musically um and i don't think you need two of these types of songs on this album i think just one gets the job done and because of that i don't think head wraps and sweats is just a necessary song in the album i think if you cut it the album would be better off it's it's just not it's just not adding anything to the album experience in the middle of the album you start to see the cracks showing in this relationship you start to see things going wrong like they start getting on each other's nerves and the three songs that communicate this of the relationship turning sour and turning the the bad ugly parts of marriage are the songs so many feelings the title track uh baby crying and drowning last sorry and in my opinion you don't need three of these like once again the album and the, the album really only has nine songs and then a bunch of interludes and that's the other issue if you're gonna find an issue with the album um is a lot of interludes there's a lot of talking there's a lot on this album that is not music but once again it's weird to say that you could trim this album because it is 50 minutes long but there's only nine songs and like you don't necessarily need the song drowning because so many feelings and is a great starter is a great introduction to this and a musically an interesting song too there's some interesting vocal effects and then baby crying silent treatment it's just a very like painful very effective song but drowning last sorry it starts to get a little bit i don't know it's it starts to weigh down a little bit too hard i think and you you don't need you don't need three songs necessarily to communicate what show is trying to communicate with these three songs thermostat is a really beautiful moment on the album when things start to change when things start to finally look up it still has the dark tone of those three songs that came before it 
but they're starting to reconcile and realize we can get through this together. And then Anniversary, the last track, is a beautiful celebration of marriage and sticking it out and making it and actually being happy together and, and realizing that it's all worth it. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool, it's a really, really cool way to end the album. Not my favorite song in the album. My favorite song in the album is Ozzy and Ruby. This song is an absolute banger. It's jazzy. It's fun. It's crazy upbeat. It's such a, it's such a great song. I love Ozzy and Ruby. If you're gonna check out one song in this album, check it out. You don't even need the context of the album. It's a song about marriage. About It's a, one of the upbeat songs about marriage, and it's just a bop. It is such a bop. Check it out. Banger song. Show and Vanessa Hill have crafted with this album so many feelings. It's the latest show album released in 2018. I cannot wait for him to do a new album. Have just created an extremely dense an extremely laser focused concept album that explores the ins and outs of marriage, both the really positive good things about it, the very intimate parts of it, um, the really rough parts of it including these really specific insults and like really just really tough parts of it and then how you can get through it and seeing this couple like traverse the difficulties and stick it out to the end and um it's a really cool album um i do have my problems with it like once again i don't think he had to devote as many songs as he did to these specific things like i feel like he could have cut it and there are a lot of interludes on this thing. You do have, if it, it's a very the appeal. It's hard an album to recommend because like if you do, if I am going to recommend this, you are going to be listening to a lot of just people talking, a lot of interludes. But the music that is here is immaculately produced. I'm giving the album four stars out of five. It has some flaws. It's still really great. That's what I got for you guys today. It's so specific, guys. Barely anyone has heard this album. Like, this is like the, it's easily the least accessible album that Cho Baraka has made. Maybe one of the least accessible albums I've even ever talked about on this channel. It probably is. It's just not accessible. It's not something that appeals to, like, I'm not married. Like, this is, dude's kind of old, like, honestly. Like, I, and it's, but it's, and it's a Christian album by a Christian artist that also has like swearing and talks about sex and it's just like and somewhat <laughs> so i say somewhat graphic it's nothing crazy like I, I don't think it's goes too far but it's not something that i would listen to with my like christian friends i don't know it's a weird album it's a weird album in, in just how niche and specific it is but i think it is a great album thanks for watching the video have a great rest of your day